All right, so today we're going to be opening up our, uh, basically it's a garden tractor hitch kit. Um, and if you know anything about garden tractors, they don't come with a ball hitch type setup. They use a pin hitch type setup, which, let me see if I can scan over here. As you can see, sit right there, sorry. So as you can see, you've got a place where your attachments will connect and a pin drops through and you don't have what they call a ball hitch. So this here is your ball hitch. All right. So the ball hitch will be, obviously it's not gonna fit through here and you wouldn't want to be pulling weight with this anyway because this is just a thin piece of you know sheet metal that's been uh, molded to fit certain attachments now today we're working on a Husqvarna GT 54 LS all right and so I went on Amazon and I got myself a kit it's universal so we're going to see how it fits um, I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to do a, a box opening, and then I'll show you a install video shortly. So we're going to open this up, and this here is the main piece. Okay. Get the box out of the way. Now there's quite a few of these online, and this particular one actually allows, I don't know if you can see that, raises it up. There's some that come straight out and the hitch is installed here. Now if you know anything about trailers, that's pretty low to the ground, okay? So you may not have a trailer that has a, uh, I'm not sure what the terminology is, but let's say a pitch that leans that forward, okay, unless it's custom made. So in most cases, the hitches are pretty pretty level, at least you know 18 inches off the ground, I would say. And what this will do is this will mount, but allow for the ball to be installed at a higher level. But you can also use the pin if necessary. Okay. Now most pin attachments only have two wheel, two wheels on them, which allows you to pivot up and down more than say like a four wheeled. Uh, trailer. Now there are some that I looked at that bring the ball hitch quite a ways up and there was a lot of reviews and complaints about it being too high so I figured this was the next best thing. Now this particular one like I said I got on Amazon it's pretty solid I and mean, you can good welds on it um, pretty thick I would say it's at least an eighth inch steel all the way around with the exception of the base plate and the top plate which are definitely um, I would say more than a quarter inch probably a quarter inch on the bottom and gosh you know pretty close to pretty close to half inch maybe even three eighths uh, on the top piece here and it comes with instructions and the mounting screws so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install that at a later video but I'm going to show you the other bracket, the same company that I got that from, makes a bracket that I'm going to show you. Okay, now what this bracket does, I'm not going to take it out of the bag yet because there's quite a few pieces, but the bracket allows you to mount this, but also to stabilize it up on this thin sheet metal so it gives you more surface area when you're pulling a trailer using a ball hitch. All right, and I'll put a link and everything in the description to check this out, but this gives you multiple mounting options, okay? So there's multiple brackets in this piece. Can it out. So that would attach to this piece here. So you got different kinds of brackets to get this installed. All right, 
Okay, well I hope you learned a little something from this because I did a lot of research and I'm just trying to simplify it for you guys. And like I said, I'll put a description in the, uh, or I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Um, and please, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or comment below. I would appreciate it. Thank you. On to the next.